Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Energon Megatron and I love this toy. But before we do, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it'll help me and it'll help the channel grow. If you'd like to further help out the channel, please share with your friends if you like what you see. Share this video on social media, and invite your friends to come over and check out the channel. The best way to keep up with what's going on with this channel is to come back and check it out often. I usually upload one or two videos a week, sometimes more. Additionally, if you'd like to further help out the channel, I have placed a donate button up at the top banner. If you want to click on that, I certainly would appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and now let's go check out this figure. And here we have Energon Megatron in his vehicle mode. And I really dig this vehicle mode and, and just the whole backstory behind how this Megatron came to be. He was reformatted from the Megatron that we saw in Armada. And there's a little bit of that left over. We'll get into that in a moment. But there's new designs that kind of hint into Galvatron. And it's just, I really dig this whole thing that they did with this particular figure. And since I recently picked up that Galvatron at that local meetup, that we did and i recently uh, just reviewed that one you guys just saw me review that one recently i'm kind of in this cybertron kick or uh, the cybertron trilogy kick right now so i dug up my of course my energon and my cybertron megatron and i've been just kind of fiddling with those and just kind of going back and reminiscing on those so here uh is megatron again in his vehicle mode uh this was released in february of 2004 he was a leader class and retailed for approximately 40 dollars and so megatron was reformatted into a jet uh, type of vehicle. It's about 10 inches long, about four and a half inches tall, and he's got a massive wingspan of about 12 and a half inches. So he's absolutely massive. He's got some electronics. Very, very cool figure. Uh, we're we're going to set the little tank aside for the moment just so that we can take a better look here at the jet. This thing is just so so cool just going all the way around it's got like this this um i don't know maybe like a klingon bird of prey sort of motif to it that i really really dig this really does look like it's gonna mess you up and then just kind of going around you can see not a whole lot there's a little bit of robot stuff showing but not really a whole lot the head's right there but it does hide well enough i think so yeah there it is there's the jet very cool colors the grays he's got some dark blues and again he's got a lot of things that really kind of hint towards a a galvatron because that's really kind of what they were going for and, and again we'll get into that here in a little bit uh real quick he does come with this accessory and if you'll notice, this looks very much like the tank form that he had in Armada. Again, because he was reformatted, they they, they kind of took the shell or the, or the husk of uh, Megatron's dead body and reformatted it. And this is really all that was left over from his old shell. And this became a very, very cool accessory, which we'll be looking at here shortly. But real quick, just for comparison, here is Armada Galvatron, which was just really a repaint of Armada Megatron. And you can see that the design is really just about the same there. And then just kind of coming back and comparing these two so you can see the size difference. These figures are massive. And I, I this was a very wonderful time for Transformers because you just got these really massive figures that you could just play with, had tons of play features on them, very, very fun figures. So we'll set Gavitron aside for the moment. And he does have a hyper mode here for the vehicle mode so what we're going to do is we're going to take the little tank mode here and there are a couple of uh ports down here on the bottom you'll notice that on the top he does have some pegs up here so what we're going to do is we're going to take the little tank piece here and just going to peg it in right there at the top and then i love this part we're going to take the these little cannons here towards the end and we're just going to pull these away from the vehicle and then that's going to kind of open up there into this sort of like an X-Wing attack formation or attack mode kind of thing. Very, very cool. So that's his hyper mode or his attack mode or his weapons mode or whatever you want to call it. Really, really cool. So let's get right into the figure. We're going to remove the little tank piece here. I guess I should show off real quick that the tank piece uh, does have a missile. As you saw just now, you can fire it off very nicely. Very good spring. Uh, it's a slotted, there we go. It's a slotted missile, so it only goes in one way. And it does have electronics, so when we fire this off by pushing that right there, we've got some electronics, 
sounds there. And as you saw there, there was a little light right there. And then there's also this little reticle piece here, which we're going to take a look at. Yeah, that's going to get old real fast. <laughs> And there's a little reticle piece there for aiming, and uh, we'll kind of see a little bit of more of that here in a moment. So we'll go ahead and set both of those off to the side, and we'll get right in the transformation. This guy is going to get huge. So we're going to start right at the bottom here. As you saw, he does have landing gear. He does roll. So we're just going to take those and just put them away, just like that. All right, we're going to start right here with the wings, and we're going to move these up. These are pegged in. There's a little... Well, a couple pegs there and ports up here so we just unpick those and then we're going to take these whole side thruster pieces here if you take the um the wheels here and just kind of slide them forward you'll notice that the foot comes out and the back of the thruster here is going to be kind of like the knee piece just like that and then we can just bring the legs down just like that put the camera up this guy gets huge all right, come around the back, take these wings, and we're going to spin these around. The arms are just going to come out and down to the sides, just like so. Disconnect the, there's a little tab right there you're going to want to watch out for. A little tab right there, so just unplug that. This whole thing is going to come back and rest on its back, just like that. We're going to get into that in a moment. Finally, bring up his head and straighten out his little horns. All right, so there's Megatron, mostly. One last thing we're going to do is we're going to take the little tank piece here. We're going to go to the bottom and we're going to pull these open. And now we can take this and clip it to either side. We can clip it to either arm. You'll notice that the arms are molded to receive these little clips right there. Of course, we're going to go with the right because we're going to go with the Megatron slash Galvatron motif there. And there is Galvatron, I'm sorry, Megatron. I, I tend to call him Galvatron and I'll explain why in a moment. Well, you can probably see why. But there is Megatron in robot mode and he looks so awesome here in robot mode megatron is approximately nine and a half inches tall at the top of the head 12 if you want to go to the top of those pylon there on the shoulders there and of course he keeps that massive wingspan of about 12 and a half inches so this guy is absolutely massive so uh all right let's talk a little bit of backstory so in the original japanese uh i'm at a loss for the name right now uh we're, we're just going to call him energon uh um armada and energon because I, uh, I energon was super link i don't know what armada was called in, Jap in japan so we're just going to go with armada and, 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 and energon so in armada um they recolored megatron towards the end of the show uh in the american continuity they just recolored him and called him galvatron uh, but that's not the way it was in Japan. He was just super powered. Or like, it was like some powered up version, but he was still Megatron. So in Energon, uh, when they reformatted, they reformatted Galvatron back into Megatron looking like this. Later, this was recolored and renamed Galvatron. In the Japanese continuity, when they reformatted him, they were reformatting the super powered Megatron who they reformatted into Galvatron, and then later he became the superpowered or whatever Galvatron. So he was, so in, in the original Japanese continuity, he was Megatron in Armada. He was Galvatron in Energon. And I think it's fairly obvious just by looking at this guy that who is exactly he is supposed to be. And just real quick for comparison, we'll bring in Generation 1 Galvatron. So you can see the similarities. It got, this guy was very obviously designed after taking design hints or cues from this guy right here it's just, just something that i absolutely love about this figure just that story behind him i find so so fascinating and it is such a cool design for a figure real quick getting into articulation the head can rotate the arms can move forward and backwards they are going to be limited because of the wings and these pylons up here uh, the shoulders can go in and out he can bend at the elbow and nothing at the wrist nothing at the waist the hips can go forward backwards in and out as you saw the legs can kind of do that break there that's due to uh transformation no bend at the knee. oh yeah actually he does have a bend at the knee i just learned something about this figure that i don't think i knew so very cool and uh that's about it i guess you can kind of do that with his legs but you're not meant to <laughs> so that's it so that's uh megatron or galvatron if i call him galvatron you now you know why but there he is there's a uh, galvatron's robot mode absolutely love it and of course He's got the little tank shot there. And uh, now you can probably see, I can never line this thing up right. What the reticle is there for, obviously that's intended for aiming. And of course the figure doesn't have the articulation to pull it off, but 
that's what it's meant for. It's meant for aiming, and of course you press on that. Fires, very powerful spring, all that good stuff. So, a couple more things here. So, the, the hyper mode or the attack mode carries over to the robot mode, uh, much the same way it did in the, in the jet mode. All you have to do is just move these pylons down, pull these open, and there you go. Now you've got hyper mode. I find this mode kind of weak in uh, robot mode. I think this works better <laughs> for jet mode. So we'll just leave that there. And then finally, one more attack. So we're gonna take, this is really cool. We're gonna take the uh, uh, gun, I guess, the tank gun back off. We're gonna come around to the back. This is so neat. You saw a little piece sticking out of here earlier. So now we're gonna use the back part of the tank and we're gonna reach right in here. And this is actually he did on the show. We're gonna reach right in there. Clip that in and then press this blue piece to release. And that's going to come out with a sword now. So we can take this sword and clip him on him. And of course, when you press down on the sword, you, you do have those uh, electronic sounds there as well when you move it around. So now in this case, we're going to take it and we're going to clip it in this arm. So now he's got that sword attack there for his left arm instead, which I think looks pretty cool as well. One more time, there you go. Really, really neat stuff. Very fun, playable figure, very beautiful figure. I find this figure so absolutely stunning. I'm gonna turn him around, I'm gonna put this back in there, and then just pull straight up, and that releases the, uh, the sword. This is what holds that piece in there. So press that to release the sword, just don't do anything, just drop it into, uh, see that back away. So we'll turn him around and we'll get his arm cannon back in place. I want to do one more comparison. Actually, let's do two more comparisons since I have him on the shelf because I am prepping him for a review here in the near future. We'll move him off to the side. And of course, we have to see him with his predecessor or his form that he was reformatted from, Megatron from Armada right there. Very, very cool. The way these guys just look so great together, all of them. And then finally, uh, this is when they'll be coming soon. Here he is with Cybertron Megatron. Just so you can see what these guys look like together. And they kind of went, I don't know where they were going with this guy. Cool figure, but I just don't understand the design uh, <laughs> choices made there. Uh, anyway, very, very cool stuff. So, yeah, they, uh, like I said later, they uh, re did recolor him. They gave him more of a G1 uh, deco, uh, more purples and oranges. And uh, of course, in the American continuity, he was renamed into Galvatron uh, for that version. And I'm really hoping to find, I don't have that version, but I really want to get my hands on it uh, because I absolutely, that's probably out of the two, that's probably my favorite uh, deco is the purple one. So that's the one I want to get. But anyway, there he, there he is, a very, very cool figure. And I think that about covers Transformers Energon Megatron. Let me know what you think of this figure. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.